Greetings, everybody. Um, I just wanted to, first and foremost, I wanted to apologize. I've been uh, working on my uh, news section, figure out, you know, figure out a better way to present it. And also, I had some technical difficulties early on in the week, so it was a little difficult to get any videos up. But anyways, this is your devotional um, for... February 16th, or today's devotional. Um, it really doesn't matter what day, but, you know, I mean, I believe that they're all um, helpful as you meditate on certain things throughout the day. Um, so really, I I mean, yes, I give a date each day, but, you know, I, it, the date is not important, I don't think. Um, every day is equally is can have some nice little nuggets that you can meditate on and uh this is today's devotional and it's from John 14:16 and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter so that he may be with you forever great father revealed himself to believers of old before the coming of his son and was known to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as the God Almighty. Then Yeshua came and the ever-blessed son in his own proper person was the delight of his people's eyes. At the time of the Redeemer's ascension the Holy Spirit became the head of the present dispensation and his power was glorious, gloriously manifested in and after Pentecost. He remains at this hour the present Emmanuel, Yahweh, Elohim, with us, dwelling in and with his people, quickening, guiding, and ruling in their midst. Is his presence recognized as it, as it ought to be? We cannot control his working. He is most sovereign in all his operations. But are we sufficiently anxious to obtain his help? Or sufficiently, or sufficiently watchful, lest we provoke him to withdraw his aid. Without him, we can do nothing. But by his almighty energy, the most extraordinary results can be produced. Everything depends upon his manifesting or concealing his power. Do we do we always look up to him? both for our inner life and our outward service with the respectful dependence which is fitting? Do we not too often run before his call and act independently of his aid? Let us humble ourselves this evening for past neglects or throughout the day. Let us humble ourselves throughout the day for past neglects and now entreat the heavenly dew to rest upon us. The sacred oil to anoint us, the celestial flame to burn within us. The Holy Ghost is no temporary gift. He abides with the saints. We have but to seek him or seek him aright, and be will and he will be found of us. He is jealous, but he is pitiful. If he leaves in anger he returns in mercy. Condescending and tender, he does not weary of us, but awaits to be gracious still. Sin has been hammering my heart unto a hardness void of love. Let supplying grace to cross his art drop from above. Blessings, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.